Greetings and good evening, everybody. How's it, Acid? How's it, Depths? How's it, Ginger Beard? <laughs> I was playing the most boring run ever. That was that was yesterday's stream. Today's one will be far more exciting. Uh, Furious Wave. Hello. All right. So we're gonna do what we do every quals, which is just keep an eye on who's playing who, who's beating who. We'll jump around to the various streams and have ourselves, hopefully, a good time. Um, and <clears throat> we're either here for a good time or a long time, hopefully both. Hey, hello, Ghost. How are you? Welcome back. Hey, Ghost, are you going to Germany? Well, I see you again in Germany. Or oh, which Ghost is this? Hold on. I always get confused between Bruce and the and, and the real ghost. I think this is the real an F3 ghost. That's the that's the real ghost. How's it, mate? <clears throat> um, okay, so I uh, I have up here the I need to get the Swiss bracket up, which I will show to you in a second. That's coming up there, and then I have and then I have all the streams. So this should come here. Hey, it's ghosty. Oh my word. I'm being ghosted. I'm being ghosted. How's it, mate? Oh, that's a, that's a pity, ghost. Would love to have seen you there again. I I am very well, thank you very much. Uh, all, all things considered. Um... So yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Hold on, am I? Oh, okay, no, don't do it there. I need to go to the screen. Very good. Is Rocket League not? Oh, there we go. Okay. And then I shall go. There we go. That's perfect. All right, so that's right. Okay, so there we will have there we will have the uh, the Swiss rounds. Yeah, that's good enough. Good enough. So these are the upcoming matches. So how this works is we 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 try and go to streams to watch games. Uh, not every game is being streamed. I have about six or seven streams to go to. We'll get most of it. So we'll go and pop in on those streams, see how the games are going, and uh, take it from there. So there we have Fusion Vendetta. That actually might be a good game. Omnius Gaming Legends Esport. That should be an easy Omnius win. Unity Toad. That might be interesting. Uh, I, so I tried, for those of you who were present yesterday, we... I tried a run at RLCS Quals, which ended as you would expect. It ended with me streaming closed Quals instead of playing it. Um, and we played Toe Lovers. And that was close. They beat us 3-0. But game five went to five minutes of overtime. It was tight. And then Astronic Valkyrie Knights. I definitely want to watch that game. Um, I think Astronic are streaming, so we can go ahead and see that. Ice versus Mills. Cosmico versus Lone Wolf. And who's below that? Sheffield Utes versus Realms. Monarch Realm versus Lupo. So Sheffield Utes, there's no stream there. Monarch Realm and Lupo Rossa, there's a stream there. Okay, so there's a few there's a few streams we can pop in and go and see and watch. Uh <laughs> yeah, but you're also on different servers, bros. Uh, hey, Triple M is here, Broski! How's it? Long time no see indeed. And it is good to see. Good grind. Diane is here. Hey, how are you? Welcome back. Good to see you. Are you, where Where are you, uh, Diane? Are you in the States? Because if it is, it must be relatively early in the morning for you, depending on the, the coast, you the, the time zone you find yourself in. All right, so it looks like Fusion Vendetta is ongoing. So let's go have a look at, so the other, the other stream we have is gonna be this one, which I will put there. And that's gonna be, I 
need to find it. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Wallpaper. No, 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 no. This one. Way My, no, not that one. Why am I not getting? I'm, I'm trying to show you that I've got I've got multi-stream up, <clears throat> but I can't find it on my choices here to show you. You know what? Maybe we actually just put this there. <laughs> oh my God! That is. There we go, that's better. All right, so we have one stream, Lone Wolf versus Cosmic. That's un underway right now. Oh, look at that, Gun showing off his stuff already. Now, Lone Wolf is Big Mac, Eric, and Case Sleet. So they're, they're a new team, as far as I can tell, into the qualifiers, so hopeful for them. Yeah, I'd love them to do well, but you, do you reckon they can beat Cosmic? So it's two, it's two nothing so far. Hold on, is there, let's, let's. Announce they're ready, I think it's just on the. Let's listen in. Now. Uh, yeah. And not, oh, Syntax, you're not allowed to be in the lobby, bro. Ah, oh, bro. I, I got, I got you on the server. I got Discord Nitro. <laughs> All right, guns is, guns is, uh, <clears throat> guns is on a blaze. Give you, give you some 1080p 60 FPS stuff here, don't stress. Yeah, this uh, Cosmic is All Cosmic right, there you go. It should be Cosmic versus Lone Wolf. Right. Oh, 100%, 100% wild. <laughs> yeah, no, listen, I don't, I don't know, I don't know that Lone Wolf. Yeah, no, I forgot about that. Forgot they would have been that. top eight. I reckon they would have made top eight if Guns didn't have his technical issues during main event. Work the post qualifiers. Yeah. I'm just going to lower the quality a little bit on Discord just so I don't uh, lag out the stream by mistake. <laughs> and um, I am expecting CP Zebra to join me at some point, the Orlando Pirates coach. Uh oh, there's been hey. a pause. The, um, the Orlando Pirates coach may be joining me for a little bit of chit chat about the scene, about Rocket League, and of course about what's going on in the teams playing today. <laughs> Furious wave. I'm the. Oh well, they. Um... <clears throat> oh, this wasn't even live. This was the warm up. This was the uh, test lobby. So that wasn't even a live game. So there's hope for Lone Wolf. They weren't. They weren't being guns done. No, no, they're 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 de Furious wave. They're definitely at that level or higher. So yeah. Oh, CP Zebra is here. Let me let me move him in Discord. One second. Yo. How's it? Hello, Zebra. Uh, how are you? I uh, can't complain. And yourself? Ah, uh, you can <laughs> complain. I've heard you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Well, uh, not today. There's no complaints. All right, cool. Well, uh, well, you, you. Uh, oh, do you know what? Let me. I'm gonna stream into Discord so you can see what's what. What I'm. What I'm looking at. Um, uh, give me a second. I need to do. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Virtual webcam. Start that. And then, if I turn on my camera, in. Or maybe I just need to stream. Turn on camera. Okay, there we go. There we go. I've turned on my camera. Now you can now you can see what I'm streaming. Yeah, perfect. <clears throat> um someone in your chat was asking for predictions. How many teams are going through to main event from Uh well there's sixteen playing today. It's Swiss, so eight eight will go uh -huh. through to main event. Okay. And uh do you have any I assume Astronic is going through. Cosmico um, is going through. I don't through. know okay, so 
Well, let's do this. While, while this game is playing in the background, I'm just going to drag this away here. We'll get that back up there. So the teams, I reckon, will, will be going through. Uh, well, the teams that should be going through are Fusion. The, the, the definite should be Fusion. Uh, that's one. Astronic. Cosmico. Sheffield Utes. I think those are the the four. Those are the only four definites in my book. Oh, sorry, Omnius. Omnius should be the other one. So that's five definites, and then other strong teams that uh, I think are contenders are Vendetta, uh, Unity, right. uh, Ice, Valkyrie. Oh, that's an old team. Valkyrie Ice Knight. Is no. Yeah, Ice is an old team, but they're well. They got well. Listen, they've got a region, a, a regional champion on their team. <laughs> Wait, who's the regional champion on that team? Chase. Was it a sub? <laughs> yeah, he was. Uh, he was a uh, limitless sub in the first split. Ah, okay. Oh. I see. Bread is here. He was a finalist in twenty nineteen or twenty twenty. Yeah, no. Is this but, the same ice? Yeah, I don't see. No, 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 no. That's the same. It's the same ice. Yeah. I know there's a lot of new players here. Like I don't, I actually don't know. Um, no, no, there are. Okay, so the, the the question there is who who are the Valkyrie Knights? So that, that includes that's Kirika's team. Kirika, who's actually a sub for Fusion, but she has a team. It's not her team. She manages the team or the org. Uh, that's Banana Cat, Risque, and Vision, and Eclipsey, who are who's sort of young and up and coming players. Uh, Banana Cat's very good. Risque's good. Vision, they're a good team. And certainly have the potential to make it through. I know Risque is 15. I don't know how old the other guys are, but uh, but one of these new new up and coming teams, and certainly potential to make it through today. I recognise that Risque name, and I think I've seen Banana Cat before yeah. as well. And then Daps is correcting me. Sorry, Chase is with Unity, not Ice. I beg your pardon. He used to be with Ice. Is now with Unity. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so Furious Wave, to answer an earlier question, most of the teams in closed quals are going to be sort of GC1, GC2 or higher. Um, the the skill level is is slowly increasing. Oh my goodness gracious, that was an own goal for Lone Wolf. Oh, uh, meantime, sorry, uh, me Cosmico are killing Lone Wolf out there. Now I rate Eric. Eric on this team is very good, but but their debut. Hey, we got a, f who's that that just followed? Wapiti, hello Wapiti, welcome aboard. So, so you've been, I mean, you, Zebra, you're, in, you're, you're, and a proper OG of the local senior. I mean, you've been involved with Rocket League from the beginning in in, in South Africa and been through <laughs> the the desert times and uh, when it was very quiet. How, what's your impression of the general the general level since we since we got into RLCS? I mean, obviously, it's just like skyrocketed. I think one of the craziest things that I'm seeing now is how the high schools are getting so involved. Yeah. Um, I think that's like really good um, because I think in SSA in general, we normally just get in too late. Um, like most people are normally going university or late high school. And I mean, if you look at the pro scene, it's all these like super young kids, right? They're like 15. So it's yes. pretty cool to see... Um, a lot of these 15 year olds i think um in like two years or so we're gonna have like a completely different um picture like our pro scene is going to be completely different like a lot of players like that uh, even like snowy and stuff like that's gonna uh we're gonna phase out because we're yes. gonna make room for these new bloods like it's crazy um like i say half these teams i don't even know these um players i mean there's bread is the only person and the yopego bread mm. those are the only people who played in my generation yeah that's yeah, <laughs> yeah. even showing up so absolutely and it's crazy the boom with rlcs well we're pity either way i'm 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 glad you i'm glad you, i'm glad you're here and now that you know but uh wow i, I don't think this is much of a match up here lone wolf and cosmico 6-1 is what we're seeing so the t the telltale for me zebra is like if we look at the winners of all the regionals so far this season and last season well, last season it was all OGs, people who were around long before RLCS. And mm -hmm. in the in the finals, if I remember, like in the last, the top four teams in the last regional, so that's 12 players, 
um, I think three of them were sort of since they were in the newer generation. They weren't around in the old days. So we'll slowly see over time there'll be more and more of the the new players in rather than the people of, as you put it, your your generation. So that's going to be that's that's the marker for me is is how many of the sort of almost since free to play type players are we seeing in the top eight and then the top four. And it's going way quick. And that's the the other thing is. Um... It was like a gradual grind, right? Like new players showing up. I mean, you know, back in the day, it was like literally two teams. Then it became like three teams, four teams that you keep seeing reoccurring. Yes. Um, and those teams you're not even seeing anymore at all. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's that transition is going to happen even quicker now, like with the um, all these new 15-year-olds uh, and things coming and playing. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. Uh, Although it is strange, you know, you don't see so many of the old names we know. Yeah, well, there, there are certain signs. I mean, one when we when we first got local servers, you couldn't get a game above plat, and then it became if you were diamond, you could get local games, but above that, not. And now, now you're finding games you know, sort of all the way, you know, GC two. So, yeah, that, two people at seventeen hundred getting local games like that's insane. Yes. <laughs> We had a zero games when local. I mean, even if we go back like three years or something, like there was no games at all. Not and then, one. of course, I, what I remember <laughs> fondly is I did that video back in 2019. All right, so I'm just going to switch streams. I want to see. No one else seems to be live. Why is Fusion not live? They should be live with their games. Um, I swear I saw the channel did go live, but they might have just closed it down. Sorry, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a problem. Gold Ninjas offline. Then there's the Vendetta game. Uh, there is a few Fusion is streaming right now. Uh, Are they? Just, yes. Hold on, let me um, double click on here because it says... Oh, they are live. Is it live? No, uh, this, is an, oh, this is an old... Uh, hold on a second. I think I cocked up something. Okay. I cocked up something. So let's do this. Uh, if we manage, go to... maybe I'm the insane one, and they're not. Uh, I swear it's live. <laughs> no, 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 it is. No, it is live. I did see it. I did see it. Okay, so now let's close this. Lupo Rosso's off. Vendetta, Vendetta Fusion. Now, is that on Fusion Stream or is okay? He has the. Well, they've got a better overlay, so let's go here. <laughs> Fusion 3-1, game two, best of five. Fusion won the first game. So Vendetta's uh, uh, Reunion Island team, and we must talk about that a bit because Reunion Island is like a, a weird freaking monster. But um, uh, Vendetta, they got to in the lot, they didn't make main event, but they got to round five in Swiss and almost, almost just fell short in the fifth game. So they're there or thereabouts, but trying hard to prove themselves as a, as a top 16 team. But yet to make it. Oh, Defunct made a mistake here. Why is my stream? The stream is uh, laggy. Hello? Okay, well, they... All right, well, it's 4-1. They're, they're kicking ass there. <clears throat> All right, let me just have a quick look at chat. Vendetta only has one reunion player. Oh, I thought they were a whole reunion team. My bad. My bad. So it's only Heatsy. Oh, of course, there's Nit Nitro and who's Can't the other see one? On the overlay. Oh, there we go, Zyro. Oh, Zyro. I, I was in a game with Zyro earlier today. Yeah, oh, no, I remember getting properly smashed by him. Okay, so so they're, they're a pretty good team. Uh, what did Wavy Vibes say? Vendetta isn't a reunion team. Okay, good. I've been corrected by Kino and now by Wavy Vibes. I apologize. I got it. <coughs> Um, I think Reunion is Willu is from Reunion on correct right? on, um, and they also had a really good player that had to move that Panda guy Panda, was yeah. pretty good. He was super good. I actually found that guy in ranked uh, randomly, like, and I oh, told really? him to go sign up for RLCS. Yes, um, okay. Just a random like insane 200 ping player or whatever they get like 190, you know. Um, yeah, on that oak, I think also young young player, so a yeah. lot of potential. All right, Fusion takes game two. So they're two games ahead here, so they're, they're looking good for their round one. Um, Chippies, to answer your question, when you say when you say your old butt, how old is that butt exactly? And and then and then I can give you an answer. 
But uh, so myself, Ginger Beard and Elf, who are all 30 plus, and I say 30 plus because <laughs> Ginger, Ginger Beard and Elf are like 32, 33 or something. And I'm obviously much older than that. Yeah, no, and we got we got hammered, properly hammered yesterday. So yeah, it's a, it's a struggle. Um, who do you think is the underdog of EU? Oh, my word. Do you know what? Furious Wave. I, I Honestly, I struggle to keep up with EU and NA because I don't care as much about them as I do here. I like all my attention is here. So, but, but to be fair, NRG are the underdog of e, of NA, aren't they? Oh, they're making a crazy run right now. They've beat no, no, they're having a great team. time this time, but but you would have considered them an underdog coming in, right? No, no, for sure. No, for <laughs> sure. I don't I think everyone wrote them off. Like, I mean, they lost first round and then they actually just smashed insane teams i think they beat like complexity did they not beat like g2 or someone as no, well they, beat, they beat complexity they beat g2 and they beat another one who everyone thought they would lose to oh so i mean maybe they're back who knows there are shockingly few streams i'm really frustrated by this i there should be at least eight streams going on right now and there's 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 two streams which are showing the same game. Vendetta and Fusion are both streaming, and then Lone Wolf Cosmico. Cosmico are kicking ass there. Okay, so so th this round's going to be pretty chop chop. So, uh, but but oh. so reunion. If so, I play. I mean, at my level, which is sort of well, this season it's Champ Two, but sort of Champ Two to early GC the number of reunion players just blows me away i mean this is an island of eight hundred thousand people and they're just producing so many. so i don't know what's happened there exactly and i haven't i've asked a few people from there on why why there seem to be so many and i haven't really gotten a good answer from any of them but it's quite amazing to see i oh, know it's uh i mean it's kind of like a phenomenon i mean sometimes you just have like those regions that really just enjoy a specific you know like sports or whatever and if they get behind it like you know they have a uh, great success yes i think you will find that with something like morocco for instance as well like morocco's rocket league players are really good like uh, they, i know they don't have they, a lot of people like, where do they play uh they play eu okay. um because they get like 90 80 ping oh whatever. but so, uh, but they're not sub-saharan africa right no they're, no no not yeah. sub-saharan but it's also okay. this like small region that just yes. um i think they produce like the few people that they do produce like are pretty nuts um, so it might be yeah. like a similar situation with uh, reunion island okay. and they you know it's the craziest thing for reunion also i don't know if you've seen like they have insane french support like it's crazy like the yes it's like all french communities so we eyed them and you know it's they're just like their African cousins or whatever. Yeah. It's insane. It's so I, cool. I, I will say that for the French is that they do very well to get behind the their people. Oh, look at this pinch! Look at this pinch. He's he, he's gonna get a goal. Vendetta in game three will get themselves a goal. Yeah, a little bit fortunate, but you or is it? Maybe it was calcul. Oh my. Okay. Nah, I don't know. A little bit lucky pinch there. Uh, Yakal, let me answer your question. So uh, we, my team played yesterday and we got smashed. We, we, we got one, we got lucky in the first round. Our opponents dis, uh, uh, forfeited. And then in the second round, we got smashed 3 nothing. And then in the lower bracket, we got smashed 3 nothing. But game three did go to a five-minute overtime. So that was, that was far closer. But uh, yeah, the, the result was the same unfortunately so zebra let's let's talk briefly about your there's 10 points separating four teams for the second wildcard slot mm -hmm. your 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 general thoughts on the last two regionals and which team i mean i know obviously you you have a solid idea of who you believe will go second but your your general thoughts around that topic um i think that uh like the French class team, like is uh, performing really well now, but I think they are on like a honeymoon period. I don't, I don't know if it will last. I okay. don't know, like the, I don't know. Just in general, like ATK has these great like spurts, and then they just, I don't know, they get fed up with each other or something. I don't know what goes on there, <laughs> but they, um, it never lasts. Like they always have these. When Geyser came initially, they were doing insanely well, and then they just fall off like completely. Yes. Um. And. Uh, you know it's just like I don't know, a trend that i see with them i don't know what it is going on with in that uh, camp but right now they're performing really well 
Um, I mean, WRG has also been doing good. It's yeah. just, I mean, honestly, I just feel like it, there's not too much that separates uh, those teams. Like even with my team, it's just like who plays better on the day. I feel like um, specifically last regional, like WRG was shooting really well. Like their placements on the free shots were really, really good. Mm. Um, and it's really important, like people, really underrate like the most simple thing i mean at the end of the day you just got to get the ball in the net and then you have these insane players that are just putting the ball in the middle of the net you know and that's yes. that's so, such a shocker and then you're like oh why did we lose this well you could have won five three goals if you just placed it a little bit and i think wrg um really took their opportunities and they converted their opportunities with like good placement good power like uh, yeah so i I don't know, Nix is also just like in a very weird place. <laughs> the heart and they're very happy, I'm not sure. Um, we'll Yo, just uh, a, a root desert. for Astro to play them again. <laughs> <laughs> but they also they also had stupid technical issues with load shedding and stuff, which they really should have seen too, but and I'm sure they'll have that sorted out for the next regional. All right, let me let me deal with a couple of guys in in chat. Yeah, sure. Um, so Aspect, to answer your question, the best way to find a team locally is to either be in the the six man server or or the ssa rlcs server because there's kind of looking for team looking for scrims you know there's there's a few channels there for people looking to team up and looking to play um so that would buy, be my immediate suggestion i don't know if you're involved with six mans or not or or the ssa discord but those are the best places to go um so that's my answer to aspect and then yakos yes I, I, I do think I do think my ship has sailed. If I were, if I wanted to be in a in a main event, I think I had to try and do it last season, uh, when it was still kind of new and the skill level hadn't increased. Now there's just too many good players. So so unless well what I've said to Snowy is I said <laughs> I messaged Snowy and said when you retire you need to come back for what <laughs> for one last hurrah put me on your team find somebody else and we make a go of it so so maybe then uh, but I don't know I, I I think the ship might have sailed slowly um, and then aspect if you if you message me on Discord I'll give you all the links we can chat further and if you want my Discord details exclamation Discord in chat. And uh, you'll get the link there and you can join and then message me directly. Um, when did you start, Dark Flash? And then... What did Cheese, Lack Cheese Clack says? I think the biggest thing that separates the top teams from the rest is that they don't give up many freebies like bubble teams do. Uh, yeah, well, that, probably that and a, a couple of other things, but I think that's certainly one of them. I think, uh, um, one of them. One of the greatest strengths and the really good teams. Uh, yeah. And this is also talking to people like Sathu and Chrome um, at Worlds. Uh, yeah. Is that those those really top teams, it, it all becomes less about the individual and all about the team. So how they challenge, how they attack, everything is done in pairs or in threes. Where I think the bubble teams sometimes, you know, they leave gaps because they don't do it as a unit. So they don't do like full team presses and stuff. Okay. Uh, that's that's a big um, that's a big separator, and I mean you'll see it in SSA all the time as well. Uh, the big gaps. So. Yeah. Um, and then Dark Flash, you make a solid point. I think far too many local players play too much casual. Um, and maybe that's okay if you don't intend to do much with Rocket League, but I see a lot of people in casual because I play far too much casual. But I see a lot of players in there who are pretty high ranked with their casual MMR but their ranked their ranked MMR is like diamond 3 champ 1 champ 2 and they should be grinding a lot more rank and they would be sort of they could get to grand champ and so on so absolutely get out of get out of casual stop playing casual if you want to take rocket league seriously stop playing casual spend your time in free play get into ranked that SSA yeah, casual MMR is like super inflated. I've played with like some of the SSA people and they come with like 2k MMR casual and then we go to EU and it's all GC3s that we're playing. Like GC2, GC3s at that MMR. So yeah, um, kind of get clapped around sometimes. It is a bit weird. And then while well, well, Onage, yeah, Onage, Onage is a, Onage is in chat, but he's a, he's a casual warrior. I think he's, I think he's put about, uh, four hours of ranked in his entire six years in rocket league 
but you're a special case on it um feel like i missed something else in chat but maybe not but let's have a look at where we are so fusion have won their first round match three nothing over vendetta omnius gaming according to start gg are one nothing over legends unity all right well unity 3-0 the team that smashed me yesterday so <laughs> that gives you an idea of of uh oh but you know what i think toe lovers <clears throat> if i check out here are i'm pretty sure zero joined that team why is that's very dull teammates <laughs> An unknown error. Oh man, what's going on here? <laughs> Technical issues. Roster Zenith, Stella, Otto. Oh no, that's not Zero. Zenith, Stella, and Otto. Who? Yeah. Well, they smashed us, but they've been they've been smashed in their first round. <clears throat> you say this is a Swiss, eh? Yeah, this is Swiss. Um. Astronic and Valkyrie Knights are 0-0. Zero, zero. Nobody stream. Oh, but Astronic are supposed to be streaming. What's going on there? But I see Astronic is offline. Who who's on Astronic? Uh no, there's nobody nobody oh, I checked with them. No one's streaming. Someone is, said Rowan is streaming. But that's Lupo Stop. Rosso. Oh, is that do we have that stream so, already? So Lupo Rosso. Yeah, but it says also says they're offline. Hold on, maybe there's something. Oh no, okay, well this is bizarre. Okay, so that they are live. So let me sort that out here. Uh, Lupo Rosso, let's get rid of that there. Someone's asking you, you think the top four in NA is gonna be? Bro, you, you, can't, be, you can't be asking me about uh, you can't be asking me about NA and EU. I am no expert on those, but uh, I'm sure Zebra would be keen to offer an opinion. Then I'm a big South American supporter, so I would like to say Complexity and Furia, but I think Furia is struggling big time. Complexity right aren't, isn't com is Complexity still in? Didn't they go out? No, they did go out. No, they, they, they got beat they by now. NRG. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if it means like specifically this regional now, like what's ending now, or like the major or. I think just generally, um, who, who's your who's your NA top four right now? Top four, I think. So obviously, Gen G has been extremely consistent. G two, consistent team. Mm. You're gonna have to throw complexity in there on current form. Uh, and then the other top four, the last team, I guess you have to say like Phase. Phase has also been pretty pretty consistent so i suppose those are the top four current na teams okay according to results right now all right well going back to the going back to the stream for a moment we see um <clears throat> lupo rosa just lost to monarch realm but i don't know if that's game one two three four or five why shins on lupo rosso hold on a second Oh, he's muted. I can't hear anything unless I. Oh, never mind. Because yeah, staying I think hard. Other things to talk about. We after, are even after how cool last main event ended, the next <laughs> they're just here to show that. Um, oh no, I've got. There's too many. Okay. All right. So Lupo Rosso, Shens, who's from MTG, is sorting out there. But I don't know what's. I don't know what's happened there. Hold on. Let's go back to this page. Monarch Realm Lupo Rosso. No scores. Reported, reported yet omnius have beaten legends three so well there we go we got our so it's all been sweeps by the teams that have won so far so so we pretty set on like the top it was a four right two four or five that are making it out for sure right who do you think uh, in this ssa bracket is gonna end in the first seed second seed third seed fourth seed sorry say that again so we pretty um convert like we know there's like five teams in here that's going to make it through to main event probably right like if, uh, fusion um mm. astronic um astronic uh cosmico right um etc etc where do you think those people are seeding and placing like who's coming first 
Um, that's Second, good... third. Well, look, Omnia should be first because, um, I mean, they were top eight. They got un unseated by Nkosi Ballers last regional. They were but... peaking. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, they were having an unbelievable run. Oh. <laughs> so Omnia should be first. So I think it should be Omnius Fusion or Astronic. Fusion or Astronic for second. Cosmico. Sheffield Utes should actually be above those. So Sheffield Utes should, they were the previous Astronic team. So they should be sort of second, third, fourth, fourth at the worst case. Um, oh, okay. Monarch Realm have beaten Lupo Rosso. Oh, my word. 3 1 Monarch Realm over Lupo Rosso. My goodness gracious. Hmm. Is that an upset? I actually, I don't, honestly, I don't know um, any of these players. Yeah. Rowan. I, I feel like I've seen that name. I think it was on. Which name? Rowan. Rowan, Rowan, I feel like. Rowan used to play for Unity. Rowan used to play. He's played for a few teams and then sort of fell off and he was sort of out in the wilderness. And then this this split specifically sort of came back in and he's uh, he's sub for Lupo Rosso, but he probably needs to be on a better team. He is pretty good. Cosmico have beaten Lone Wolf 3-0. Well, from ba based on the first one and a half games we saw, that doesn't come as a massive surprise. I'm pretty interested to see how this Cosmico... Um, I've heard good things about this team. They're apparently like uh, big up-and-comers. They are. They've got one of their players is Guns, who's just like a 16-year-old. He, he's being hyped up a lot, and hopefully that's not going to his head. Um, but so I didn't know much about them and before the first regional I did like a a little like prediction thing on the qualifiers mm -hmm. and, and and chat were losing their mind about Cosmico telling me that they're absolutely a top 8 team they're going to kick ass they're going to dominate and they as I said they probably would have gone to top 8 if um, if they didn't have technical issues they lost to Astronic, um, a, a, a series they were dominating, and uh, then they had technical issues, and then lost it in five. Yeah, our region and these technical issues is insane. You don't have to tell me about that. Mm. Every single team, like, just always constant problems. Like, I mean, it's insane. Like, people really don't understand overseas, like, what it takes. It's not just playing, like, having to sort out generators and flip and jump through loopholes, and then you're flipping cell phone towers down so internet is shitting the bed you know yes so, it's, it's such a mission yeah and look and, and i see declan says in chat that rowan just wants to be on any team and that's fair enough and maybe maybe that's a good view to have coming back into the scene because he's been out for uh he's been out for a while all of this season and but uh, just with the amount of effort and grind he's putting in, I think he might need to look, try and get onto a onto a better team going forward. I mean, maybe this is a, a way to start getting back into it. Hey, Voodoo, are you uh, are you shouting out from all the way from England? Have you landed there or have you not left yet? And Voodoo says Cosmico are good. Yeah, well, that's what we're hearing. Now they just now they just got to prove it on the big stage. All right, still no updates here. Sheffield Realms. Okay, Realms is also Realms is is a is an almost main event team. They made main event once and then had to forfeit because of load shedding or some shit, or somebody <laughs> got or somebody got sick or that they had some problem. Um, I so, feel this guy. That was our sub. I didn't know that player. Yes, and and he's been around a while. He's I think probably twenty now. Uh, been a grinder. Happy, who I think is very good, and I think he's younger. I don't know how how old is Happy. Somebody in chat must know Happy and how old he is. <clears throat> okay, Unity uh, Voodoo is in the UK. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Zebra can welcome you to shitty England. <laughs> <laughs> England's nuts. I don't know what South Africa's got such a bad stigma about it. It's actually crazy. This place is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You're only saying that because you have 24 hour a day access to electricity. <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, the prices are pretty f insane. The yeah. gas prices and stuff. But honestly, I mean, at least the power's running 24 7, so can't complain. All right, well, we have we have Duklas from from Cosmico in chat. We were just talking about them. So Happy is eighteen, so so he's kind of young enough to be to be around for a while. Um, <laughs> Voodoo says he deleted the Eskom to push app immediately. That was the first thing he did when he arrived in England. I, know. I, I keep it to remember. <laughs> to like a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, when when it's been raining for two days, you're like, well, fuck that. Let me just let me just let me just see what load shedding <laughs> I'd be in if I was in South Africa right now. Oh, man. Uh, Gosh, man, I'll take the rain with power any day. We all indoors all the time anyway. Like, yeah. guys, let's be real. No, no, no. Uh, listen, I'm 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 with you. <laughs> Um, so I, in back in the beginning of March, I had installed a, a proper inverter with a proper battery system wired into the house. So mm -hmm. it runs my, it runs my entire setup plus my lights plus TVs plus even my aircon can run, and, <laughs> and it and it breezes through it breezes through four hours of load shedding. Um, and by the look of it, I think we could do up to eight hours. So. I, the pain and cost of setting it up was terrible, but with each load shedding slot, I'm like, yeah, it was a good move. But uh, it's and it's the things I have to know now. Like I know exactly how much wattage my uh, <laughs> my fucking coffee machine draws, the a hair dryer draws, the microwave, and I know that I can do I can do coffee and I can do coffee microwave hair dryer, but not at the same time. I can do two out of those three at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This guy's coming out of an electrician. Yeah. Um, you, you know, um, this. Uh, oh, hold fusion. on, we got it. Hold on. Astronic is live. Astronic is live. Okay, so. Oh, oh and it's but one man, one. But, but they're on like. Oh, man. Game the, five. What? Game five. So we've. So Valkyrie. Oh, this. Damn it. This, and this, it's one this, one. this, this disappoints me, man. I, I really wanted to see this series. Okay, one well, of the ones you mentioned. Yeah, yeah well, we'll we'll keep this one running for sure. Oh man, this was a okay. Well, let's let's focus up on this game for a bit. Oh, there we go. Bana so banana cat. A lot of people rate this banana cat, and then risque is like the the young up and comer. Right. I don't know where I've seen this banana cat before, but I do know this name. I don't know from where or what the. Is it? Is he on a high school team? Uh, who, Maybe he might Banana. be. I mean, I've, I've seen his name around. I know very little about him. I think he might have been on one of the good high school teams. Uh, I might be wrong. I might be misspeaking now. But that's. I, I feel like that's where I recognize his name from. All right. Who just followed? Captain. Captain DJ Captain just followed. DJ. Welcome to the party. Thanks for the follow. What a, what a legendary name, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, remind me about legendary name. I must tell you what happened with me. Uh, I think you'll appreciate it. Actually, wait. There's a moment here. I, I in a casual lobby, I ran into No Clip, No Clip, oh, right. who, I, who I have <laughs> never met, but have always heard of him. Uh, why is the stream stuttering? Is that their problem? So anyway, no, it was just it was really groovy because I'd always heard about him from you and from Snowy and from Mother and whatever. So you know, one of the one of the serious OGs of the game. So that was really cool. That was about two months ago, I think. Yeah, I saw him playing again, like every now and then. You see these uh, Oaks playing a bit, but no one plays. I think um, I, s I still think it's so interesting. Like we we're talking about, uh, like Mother, like potentially you know coming back. I think he's in for a big surprise if he hasn't played at all. Yes, I think like even these teams are going to be big big surprise you know and yes. then if he actually plays with the people that he used to play with he's probably going to have a heart attack <laughs> yeah. and, and i think that's why i decided in the end not to not not to go through the quals it's like i, I want people to remember i was a legend <laughs> um and then there's a banana okay so so captain says banana cat is in a high school team Bur school vatakluf that's so that's pretoria yes, right Arctic. okay Yes, and then and then Declan right. says Riske isn't an up-and-coming player to watch out for. He's just a ones player. Okay, 
and then but he says banana cat he says i don't know he doesn't have he doesn't have much of a life from how much he grinds so so banana cat apparently putting in time so there you go oh this is a good chance and then Depp says that both Banana and Risque have too much hope behind them, but Vision almost pulls off a great flick there, overcoming most of the defense. But uh, but Valkyrie are going to take it. Astronic are going to lose their first round game. Their first round series, Valkyrie take over Astronic. So that, that's got to be an upset. I mean, uh, definitely a team to Astronic are, are, are a good team for Valkyrie to beat. So that's an excellent result for them. So I think if we go back to our, we should be pretty much, so we're waiting on Ice Mills, Mills Exponet, which I team I don't know very much. That This is concluded. And then Sheffield and Realms we're waiting on. So, so far our second round winners matchups are gonna be Fusion, Omnius, Unity, Cosmico, Monarch, Valkyrie, and then we're and then we're waiting on these these two here. Okay. Hello, guns. I'm really surprised that this team actually lost. I think um, was Valkyrie one of our guaranteed to make Not it through one teams? Of, uh, or Astro Astronic was supposed to be one of the guaranteeds. I think they still did make it. So they should I make it. Like... I mean, I'd be very surprised if they don't. But this is an excellent result for Valkyrie. I mean, they're going to be oh. proper confident now going into their next round. So guns, I was I was talking about you earlier when we were talking about Cosmico and you were busy playing, so you wouldn't have been here. Um, and I was saying that that hopefully all the all the hype and talk about you isn't going to your head. So I'll I'll put that out there live on stream just to say that uh, to say that I I hope it isn't. I hope you stay grounded and humble, young man, as you rise to great great things in this game of Rocket League. And then we just got a follow from Mitro. Mitro, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. There you go. Daps is Daps is trying to humble him. He says, "Guns, you suck." Well, there you go. <laughs> um, there was something. This fusion team wasn't that teacher person. Teacher was a sub, right? And now I think he played himself onto the main roster i don't know if he came from sub i think he was i think he was brought in i know with fusion um because it's backed by the bro community they they're quite keen to to i mean obviously they want to do as well as possible but they're also quite keen to develop and 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 bringing on young players and and trying to uh you know, trying to make trying to make him better, I guess. So he was he came out. I don't know if he's still in high school. I think he's in his last year of high school. But he used to play it on in the high school VS gaming and was with Unity. Um, so, but I don't know currently. I think this is his debut in RLCS, and I don't know if he was their sub or not. Yeah, I think there's someone Hannibal saying he was a sub, so he's moved. Oh, he moved to up main to roster. main roster. Okay, thank you, Hannibal. <clears throat> Thank you for that. Okay, so no no games live at the moment. Everyone's off. Okay, so that's because all the all the games with streams have finished, and these two games don't have streams. Okay, yeah, Sheffield Utes. Um, yeah. This just specs wasn't he on? Um, I mean, I don't want to use the word a real team, but I swear this guy was on. Um, Who? Like a, oh, this just specs did he not play no, just for specs, a, just specs ba, just specs Balam and who's the other one there that i forgot Strat Stratic. i mean they oh there we go sheffield youths beat realms 3-1 so so sheffield is a guaranteed a guaranteed through to main event realms is a maybe mm -hmm. um and they've lost here in their first round and everything and ice ice have beaten mills exponent 3-1 so there you go. First round match is concluded. Second round will begin shortly. Let me shout out. I'm trying to say the name of the person who just followed me. The top G. Zy... Zix... Zixafi? Zixafi? All right. Well, the top G. Thanks for following. Welcome aboard. Call me Zai. That I can do. Zai I can do. <laughs> Uh, I feel like we were talking about something that I actually wanted a, wanted your uh, the team uh, Stratic. Um... Yeah, just before that there was something. Ah, oh well.
I see Guns hasn't said anything since I told him that I that I hope it hasn't all gone to his head. He's gone quiet. Oh dear. He's egoing you. He's got he's, you. He's, he's egoing check, me already. Check, <laughs> check, 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 One step ahead of you. Uh, Deary me. All right. So now we wait for the for the round two matchups, which I'm, I guess the admins will be few, furiously working out. I guess we could actually work it out based on i mean oh here we go round two round two fusion valkyrie knights that's a good one to watch omnius monarch realm so that's another one that has no no stream so we have no idea unity sheffield youths another one with no stream so we're gonna have no idea so those are the i guess those are those are all the winners the oh, winner you can refresh there's another um there's another row is there another Cosmico row Ice. It should have just Astronic and Vendetta. Lepo oh, there we go. Cosmico Ice. Oh, we can keep an eye on that one. Astronic Vendetta. That'll be on stream. Lupo Legends will be on stream. So these three will be on stream. The top, th all the winners' games. Oh no, the Fusion Valkyrie. We can keep an eye on that one. That's good. Kind of interesting to see what happens with it. Well, that's going to be um, uh, Kariko or whatever's playing her own team. <laughs> there. Oh, well, while she's so. subbing, so yeah. Um, oh, but that's a good point. Sorry, that is such a good point. I've just realized. So the sub for Fusion is Kirika, and she's the manager of Valkyrie Knights. That's kind of bizarre. <clears throat> I'm sure she'll play them. Um, um, Dapt, yes, it will, but it'll be after It'll be after the split, I think. There's too, too much going on before that. <laughs> Rock League fashion show. <laughs> Jamal, do me a favor. Send me a Discord message to remind me of that. I love that idea. Um, and we can do it on the podcast or whatever, but I'm going to forget. So please send me a message on Discord so I've got it there to remind me, please. That'll be very cool. Um, so relative to last season, Zebra, I mean, you were there at, at Worlds. Um, mm -hmm. How have we moved any closer to the global skill level are we are we making progress in closing that gap i don't think maybe not as much as we wanted i mean that team uh the limitless team now that they made i yeah. mean the whole purpose of that was so that um we can make a competitive uh international team and i mean it's the best team we can make like no doubt uh maybe you can argue to throw cams in there uh but I don't know. Uh, the improvement, that their gap doesn't seem as big as I think it should. I mean, they're obviously winning everything and they're obviously, you know, better. But I don't think it's. Um, I would like to see an international matchup with them. And if they um closer than they were last year, because if you look at a region like APAC, I think that region has improved substantially quicker than we have mm. like it's actually insane i think they are almost you know oce level if not going to overtake oc in this one you know compared to last year they're so much worse well i don't not so much worse but you know what i mean they were a bit behind and now they um their sixth place team i mean is like decent like it's crazy to see like their sixth place team uh compete so uh you see the super team move there and they got clapped mm. um with kami and i mean i don't know if you've ever played with kami or played against kami you'll know that guy's actually crazy he's cracked so you know the fact that that team is straight you know losing to a native apex team shows their improvement is insane wow so, all right well i, I mean, guess we, i guess we're gonna find we're gonna find out at worlds <laughs> Yeah. All right. So what you what you're seeing here is a test lobby. Um, right. So this is this is not the real thing, which is which, which is why you see a bit of weird Rocket League going on there. Sometimes uh, I actually hated these test lobbies. Why? Like people just do annoying things. Uh, right. stuff. Like sometimes I just don't even join that. Yeah. All right, well, uh, we, we, we go live now. Fusion Valkyrie. This should give us a, a, a better sense of how how Valkyrie is placed to be...
to be in the main event. Tops, a consistent top 16, maybe top 12. We'll see now. Do you think, um, what, what would you say the percentage of uh, Valkyrie taking this is? Like if you were a betting man and you had to put odds on this. Um, okay, we've just, just been Rick rolled. Who, who redeemed the Rick roll? <laughs> I don't know who redeemed the Rick roll, but there you go. Thank you very much. I think that was Amagus. <laughs> I think it was him. Yeah. Was that you, Amagus? If it was, thank you very much. Um, it's, it's difficult for me to answer because for me, I, I've been wanting to see them play to get a sense of, but the fact that they've just beaten Astronic um, makes I kind of want to back uh, Valkyrie to yeah, be honest. No, no, no. Uh, I think, and, and, and Fusion are a team that like to make life hard for themselves. They're, I mean, they're, they're actually a good team. And I mean, they should be 3-0ing here and going to main event. And always in the Swiss stage, they tend to kind of go to round five and just make it through, like a game, an overtime in game five. Oh, but look at this, Valkyrie almost getting... No, sorry, I beg your pardon. That was... Uh, that was uh, Fusion almost scoring. But I think they've uh, they've got, at, at, at worst, an even chance of taking this one. This, oh, that's a really important demo from Defunct, uh, but they still let the ball go into the center. Well, let's see how that played out. Ooh. I mean, this was a freebie for that yeah. blue player that got demoed. Uh, yeah. But you have to keep pressure on the ball. You can't leave the guy to shoot that for free. This is a um, one of the goals WLG scored against us. Um, I think it was Casper. He, he did such a good shot from that location where that other guy got demoed now. Yes. Perfectly like top left. It's a really nice shot, um, to be honest. It's one of my favorite ones to get for free. Oh, surely. Oh. So, uh, a question about the demo meta. We know it's. Oh my goodness gracious! That was that was pretty good. <laughs> I don't think they were expecting that. Oh. Yo. You. It's a Did tough they? life when uh, your second man just whiffs completely. <laughs> 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 it's not a nice place to be. Are you saying about the demo meta? Um, is it is it something that gets discussed, or is it is, is it part of the, the the strategic planning of of when you're working with your team? Uh, I mean, if you can get a demo, you should always get a demo. That's a nice shot by this guy, Risky. It's really well done. That was very good. Uh, to beat teacher and then to um, just put on target. It's yeah. really good. Um, I mean, the, historically we always had like certain teams that really value the demo. Like mm. I mean, you look at all of Virtuoso's career. It's just flipping driving into people. <laughs> um, but I don't. <clears throat> I think it, it's weird because it's like an underrated but an overrated thing at the same time. I think you should, uh, if you can demo, you should always just demo. Um, yes. Especially if there's um, it, there's very few situations where the demo is going to be detrimental for you. Mm. Um, for instance, one would be all three of them are in your net and can't get back and then for whatever reason you decide to demo them. Right Now they've got a defender. Like there's one stupid example of how a demo is just you know that's a dumb demo but yes more often than not um a demo is going to be very beneficial but the problem with the demos is that um people overextend and they uh compromise their own positioning and stuff so they leave themselves exposed to counter attacks mm -hmm. so that's like where it's you overrating the demo too much like you you sacrificing too much for very little i mean very often also it's not like the demo results in a direct goal it you know it can mess up a rotation and um, make life difficult for them in terms of that but like good teams like I told you, with the you're supposed to be defending and attacking as a unit anyway. So yes. if you get rid of one piece, it's not it's not the end of the world. There should be always be um, backup. So you know what I mean. You just mm. so now I don't really discuss it too much with my team. I mean, if we see a good opportunity, I'm like, oh, you probably should have demoed or thought about it here. 
Um, okay. But but it's not something that's like on the forefront of how we want to play. Um, gotcha. All right. Well, meantime, halfway through this game, and it's two. nice and even. Oh, that is not something you want to miss. Yeah. We put a we throw money in a fine jar on my team if you do that. So you must know they pay a lot of fines. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving them some shit now, but uh, I know that you really don't want to give up your um, free opportunities, especially when you. Um, you're the underdog. Like if you take these um, opportunities, they can demoralize this team and just win on the um, mental front. Yes. Makes your life a million times easier. Oh, your Pega, you would have had that double. Great bump there out of the way. No, no, it's super important. That's something uh, also highly um, underrated. Like uh, if you can't get the ball, get the player. Like do something. The mm. worst is if you just if you just YOLO pass and do nothing. Like consume boost give up position and you know don't even make the life of your guy behind you easier this is, is def it, uh, this is definitely going to game five i'm seeing uh this blue team uh valkyries they're creating opportunities but they're not really uh seizing them mm. like and it it's kind of painful because you look at this and it's like a slight little adaption, like a little bit of shot or a little bit of positioning and they actually give themselves a goal and then they way ahead. I feel like they've had the co more control in this game. Um, oh, that was close. Um, and that's what, that's exactly what you want from, you know, them coming off a high and now they put a lot of oh, pressure on, on this... Uh, as the underdog, they put a lot of pressure. So mm. you want a, a good opening game, and I mean, they could have, they could have been ahead for sure at this point. And that's now, yeah, those those opportunities created and missed, and then and now you go behind, which just just piles on the frustration of of knowing you, you that know, you, you could have been ahead and now you behind. Uh, Gareth or Snow will have a lot of uh, nice stories for you about that. How important that goal that you miss becomes yes. like in a series like it's crazy oh. you see wow. it's like another one mm. this is just just a little bit better yeah all right well time's up can they get it banana cat from from long distance that's just gonna be dropped and fusion take a tight game but they take game one what else? We let's see how Cosmico and Ice are doing. Yo, four three. Four three from Ice. This is a this is a bit of a surprise. This is a big problem for Cosmico, isn't it? If they lose two. No, they won their first one. They they. I was astronic. Yeah, astronomic first one was a was a cakewalk for them, and now. I'm now sorry, Ice is. I mean, these are. Uh, who are Bad the players jobs. here? Uh, Bread, JTW, Bread. Hamburger. I mean, these are these are. are I know all these. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And the fact that you know them tells you all you need to know. <laughs> oh, these are all best players. <laughs> been been around a long time, so um, and 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 this does surprise me. I, I, I would have thought a, a team like Cosmico should be, they should be clapping the clapping these guys. Yeah, I mean, it also just comes down, you know, to like how long, how much have these old players been playing? Because, um, like, for instance, we were talking about Mother earlier. Like, I don't know if that guy was playing. Let's say he's been, you know, playing for the last whatever it is, how long he's retired, two years, three years, whatever. Um, I mean, he'll still be good. He can come compete and stuff. But I think if you haven't played at all, you're going to get in for a big surprise. So I think Bread, I feel like Bread and Hamburger uh, mm. have been playing. All right, I misread Maybe. the I misread the score somewhere. I thought Cosm uh, Cosmic only had like one goal, but it's actually four one. I mean five four. They're, they're ahead by a goal. Um, all right, I just need to say how's it to a couple of followers. Who's there? What awesomes? Ur Urilla awesomes. Okay, thanks for the follow. Welcome aboard, and MX. Thanks for the follow, th and welcome, welcome to it all. So they're actually doing better, better than I than I thought they were at the start. So I'll I'll take it back a little, and and, and they're ahead here, so that's good for them. 
Um, and then Jamal, to answer who's on the stats for SSA, nobody yet. There's a couple of people who expressed interest. Um, Unguarded Ace was quite keen to look at it. And uh, Rasta was having a look. But no, no one's grabbed it like a proper number nerd and uh, grinding it out, which is a little disappointing. So, so no one yet. How's it, Entity? Game paused. Oh, dear. What's going on here? I don't know how you feel about these pauses, but I actually think it's the biggest scam under the sun. <laughs> I, what I don't know is, is I don't know the, the exact rules under which you are allowed to call for a pause, and I don't know if players are abusing it, if they're just using it for... Uh, I don't know if it's open to abuse, and if so, if it is being abused. Uh, you see, they're going to do a sub mid-game. I don't think you're allowed to do that, really. No, no, you're not allowed, allowed to do it. They forfeit this oh, game. In be no, no, he says in between games. In between games, they're going to sub out. Okay. Oh, that's yeah, why okay. Guns went quiet. He's playing. <laughs> so I called him out for his ego, but he was, he went to go play a game. <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll forgive him that. Uh, these pauses sometimes... Um... Especially these ones where they like restart from kickoff or whatever, like that's, I don't know. Yeah. Because you lose it, like let's say you're in winning position and they call for pause. I mean, even if it's like a legitimate reason, whatever. Um, then you go to a kickoff and then you instantly lose the kickoff, you can instantly concede. Like that's, that's a, yeah. I, I don't like. No, fair enough. Well, I see, I see guns is, guns is on, uh, Cosmico twice now, but I think Bigfoot's got the problem. And just looking at the chat, it seems like there's an eight, the eight minute timer has started for Bigfoot. So, whatever the problem is, it's with Bigfoot. Rasta, we're, we... Rasta, we're not sure. There's been a pause. The problem is, it looks like it's with Bigfoot, whatever the problem is. But um, Gunn says he'll be back. He'll be back ASAP. Dark Flash, wasn't that last regional? Um, and then Fig, something's wrong with my follow age. I don't know why it's not working. I haven't been able to work out why it's problematic. And then Jamal, I did get your Discord message. Thank you very much. All right, well, while this is being paused, let's see what else is going on. Um, Astronic Vendetta, let's see what's happening here. Now, Vendetta... <laughs> Did they win? No, they lost. So this is from the losers bracket. Follower from Big Dumb One. Big Dumb One Gaming. Okay, thanks for the follow. Welcome and thanks for being here. Um, so Vendetta, Vendetta Astronic. And this again surprises me. Now, this is game two. Okay, Astronic One game. Uh, Astronic One game one. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's still close. Um, it's so crazy to me to think this team um, beat, uh, you know, they had like a really good run last, last region, uh, last regional. Um, you know, beating a team like Nixa and they kind of sit and they have, you know, they're struggling with Vendetta. Like, it's yes. just so strange to me. Like, I don't, sometimes I don't understand Rocket League at all, to be honest. Look, I mean, there are the... Oh, my word, what a miss, though. I mean, you see that play. I mean, if you saw that on your team, I mean, there would be uh, there would be people doing laps. But... Um, ask, um, ask David what happens. <laughs> <laughs> and look, maybe it's, a, maybe it's a, a, just a consistency thing. I do think they got lucky against Nixa. Nixa had... I mean, there, there was chaos with Nixa in terms of... Um, Arche Archeon and Lowe were at Lowe's house and then there was power issues so they had to drive to Lowe's girlfriend's uncle's place to keep on playing and one of them was on a laptop. I, it was so scuffed. Right. But my argument with a team like Nexa who's, who's battling it out for second place in the region didn't make a better plan. I mean, I saw, I saw Mr. Lowe tweeted about he's got like three inverter battery systems for sale. 
Mm -hmm. so, I said, said, so I said, you should <laughs> buy one. <laughs> no. You know, uh, uh, you know the same goes for our team. Uh, when we had the problem um, with David, uh, Invert also died mid RLCs, and then we lost their team. We were literally in the middle smacking, you know. Yes. And now we lose it, and then it put us instantly. I mean, that's why, you know, it put a lot of pressure on us in terms of our standing and stuff in the grand scheme of things. Yes. Uh, but it's the same thing. Like, I mean, we should have just had a sub. I can't remember exactly why, but we just didn't have a sub. Mm. Like, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, look at this. Vendetta have taken a game against Astronic. And yeah, Astronic, the team that one, beat one. Nexa. So now it's now it's, now it's it's one all. Um, Jamal, I think that is just purely a wish from Muzz. I don't think Goliath have made any overtures. And to my knowledge, it's all crickets for the time being. So... I don't think I don't think they're going to be picking up French class. Um, so Fusion Fusion have taken a second game against Valkyrie. So so Valkyrie, yeah, they're they're good ish, but uh, not not beating Fusion just yet. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, but that's kind of the consistency you except you expect from I guess like Fusion and these teams that are constantly making main events. You know, they should be constantly um you know they shouldn't be losing to these um other guys yes so that's why it's like really good from valkyries that they did win and i mean they had opportunities there they could have changed you know they could have made it different uh they did definitely have opportunities in that first game that we watched all right i'm just gonna see astronics stream is giving me shit again which it shouldn't because they're definitely live who's the bird and french class who's bird bird is now astronic so bird uh, they were picked up by astronic for the last regional um but th but they were bird before that so that's astronic um do you know is astronic a south african org yes uh no they're it's run by young young englishman okay cosmico ice let's pop in there oh uh, they finally restarted so nothing changed. Oh, the subs playing now. Oh, they just carried on. <laughs> they no, no. literally carried on with the twenty seconds left. Yes, they had, yeah, they carried on. Saw at the twenty seconds. So there, Cosmico take game one, uh, and then Astronic Fusion. Astronic have a better stream, so we can actually see. Oh, Astronic playing Vendetta. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you see bread dropping triple six? Coincidence? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. Uh, Stronic Vendetta. So 1-1. One, one. Yeah. 1-1 one, one in games of Stronic ahead here. I just want to see if there's an another game we should be watching. Who's Lupo Rosso playing? Um, one of these clean. guys have overlays, man. Okay, let me just check Lupo Legends Esport. Legends Esport, okay. Uh, I feel like I didn't even see that team. Who's that? Uh, Legends are Fan Legends were at least they were a reunion island team. I don't know if they still are, um, but Lupo Rosso should really be walking. So Legends were they've never they've I think they might have made main event once or twice last season. I don't think this season. Guns is back in your chat. This guy in between games. <laughs> I do not eat. Okay. <laughs> Bro, focus on your games. All right, Astronic, Astronic starting to take charge here against Vendetta. I feel like this is kind of what was expected, right? Um, Absolutely. Uh, Astronic, Astronic losing to Vendetta would be like, would definitely raise eyebrows. Hmm. So I think Vendetta, Ven, what's going to happen with Vendetta? They're going to lose here, and then they're going to they're going to win their next two, and then and then round five is going to be a dogfight. This must be their stream that does this, is doing this, because yours is hundred percent fine on my end. Okay. Or is it your side now? Ah, who knows? Um, I, I never know. <laughs> it's Escort really Fall, guys. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, I do think load shedding and traffic get blamed for a lot of things that isn't actually responsible for, which is not to say they're not responsible for a lot of things. Zara, right off kickoff. Maybe something happened here. And he, oh, Nitro. Too quick up to the pole. Can't get over it for a decent shot. But that would have been good. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. No worries. Did he get it? Flip reset. Doesn't use it. Doesn't get the goal. But the follow-up is in. Okay, good. He got there the bump. That's there what's it. ended it. Um, so that's a Stronic Vendetta. Fusion and then more OT Fusion? going now. Looks like they're going OT. Okay, this is game three. What am I crazy? Oh, I saw a different game. I thought it was okay. Fusion. Um, game three and Fusion has two wins, right? Fusion have got two, yeah. So this is series point for them. And, Someone uh, must tell them to put an overlay, yeah. An overlay so would be fabulous. Just a simple one. I mean, even, even I, game I, scores. I, 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 in, I, I eventually paid for a lacquer, for a lacquer overlay. But in the old mm -hmm. days, I, I literally just had a graphic. Text. <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was incredibly cheap. It it was very helpful because this is this is for the birds. What's happening here? Why is this guy AFK? What's going on? Who is this? Uh, teacher. Teacher's AFK. Game paused. Oh, oh boy. Here we go. This is 5 o'clock now. All the load shedding is coming. Teacher left the party. Oh, cuck. Okay. So there will be a starting eight-minute timer. Click, click, click. Okay. So they got a bit of, they got a bit of drama. Legends. Oh, Legends have taken a game. Of Lupo Rosso. That's not good for Lupo Rosso. What is going on with this team? Honestly, Rocket League, just the Rocket League world this week. Yes. Like, it's actually just <laughs> like, up in flames. I mean, SSA with the flipping, you know, all the teams except Limitless going lower bracket instantly. All the teams you expect to see go far instant. Some, I mean, Knicks are going out early. Then we went out pretty early. Yes. French class going through. Like, it was just crazy upsets. Then NA comes along and their champions are out in Stazel. Yeah. Pretty much. No, that was. Uh, who, who were the champions? Was that FaZe? Complexity. Complexity. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Complexity. Okay. And they lost to NRG. That's like so insane to me. No, it is a little unreal. All right, so I don't know what game this was. I'm assuming this was game two, but I might be wrong. And then, uh, so this one I think is still poor. Oh, let me, I was gonna go back to the Cosmic page to see. Still waiting for the sub to join, I think. Omnius and Monarch team. Realm are one. That's not good for Omnius. Monarch Realm are, 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 are a newish team. They shouldn't be, they shouldn't be beating Omnius. Um, you know, Eli, uh, rated, um, what's his name? Quite well, like that fearless card. I know oh, no, no, like no. okay. This is what's confusing. So Monarch Realm is different to Realms. Realms is fearless carrot. Monarch Realm is not. Oh, okay. I've been <laughs> for a loop. Who Bro, is Monarch Realm? Monarch Realm. Let's have a look at their Ra team. Ra I, know, I know there's, I know there's a Mustang JRS. on there. Entity, JRS, R Rascal. That's what Mustang, JRS, and Entity. Okay, so they're they're not a bad team, but they're they're not a very experienced RLCS team. Um, I, I mean, I do know they've these guys have been grinding for it, but uh, Omnia shouldn't be losing to them. I mean, it's all the teams like sometimes throw the most ridiculous, just like one game or something. It happens actually more and more often these days. I don't know what's going on. But, yeah. How's it, Acid? Fusion are doing well. They won their first round match and they're 2 nothing up in the second round. So, so far, so good for them. And uh, Cos Cosmico currently playing Ice, but there's a... Somebody DC... Oh, no, that's... Oh, bigger point. That was the Fusion game. The Fusion game DC'd. Yeah, they're waiting for this. Oh, no. I'm being stupid. Yeah, I keep confusing. <laughs> well, let's, yeah. let's go back and see if there's anything happening. And no, no other results being reported just yet. Oh, hold on. Teacher's back. 
And fusion, okay, okay. okay. Fusion, fusion, take it in a sweep. Yeah, that's 3-0, right? Yeah, 3-0, yeah, that's, that's very good for fusion. Very well played against, uh, that's Valkyrie, yeah. So they got that one and where, what was the other game? Cosmico and who? Uh, is it not bread? Uh, ice, so that ice. is correct, yeah. So where's Cosmico's stream? Fusion? They're waiting for the sub, apparently. Cosmico official, waiting for the sub. Oh, brilliant. Uh, Yakuls, I think uh, it's 3-0. I don't think it's 2-0, I think it's 3-0. 3-0, they took it down in a sweep, Yakuls, yeah. Zebra's correct. Ice Cosmico. So who, who's waiting? Who, who's waiting for a sub? Is it uh, Ice or Cosmico? I, Ice is waiting for the sub. Remember, uh, Bread or someone said the load shedding's kicking in, so they're swapping the players. Brilliant. Um, in between game. So now they're waiting for the. So Bread's power is probably going out, and they're waiting for the sub's power to come back on. Oh my god. <laughs> What a joy it is. I think based off what I've seen here, I assume Fusion might be ending like second. Like, I think that um, if they play, depending on who they play. Yes. I think this Cosmico is... Well, listen, uh, if they go 3-0, the oh, that'll be their best result ever in a closed quals. Really? Yeah. The Yo the, the Yo Pego team. Uh that team with teacher. Yeah. They they've they generally do game round five in Swiss. Um last last quals they did better, they they qualified in round four. Uh but they but they generally like to make heavy weather of it. But this is good going. In fact, the first quals I ever covered was in the, the previous split. And they won their first two games and then lost two series and then clutched it out in series five. Oh, but look at this. Hold on. Vendetta. Mm -hmm. Game four. That three guy. nothing. Hold on a second. One, Shit one not done yet. Really yet. How's it, Kershaw? Just dribbled it and then they own gold. I don't know what um, South African players like to play defense from the wrong side of the ball. <laughs> And they just stunk their own teammates and I'll play their own teammates. What do you mean from the wrong side of the ball? So, basically, um, one of the Vendetta players was coming down the wing. Um, and generally in twos, like you would, um, you'll be on the same side as him and just demo him or bump him off the ball or something. Yes. But the problem is they have threes now and there's someone waiting behind. Okay. That guy chasing is not the last defender. So, what happened is now... The guy chasing from the wrong side makes a challenge, but then he hits it into his goalkeeper and then proceeds to dunk his goalkeeper, where the goalkeeper could have just challenged from the correct side of the ball. So okay. they made it like really, really awkward for themselves, and it's really hard to read. So I mean, that's literally how the last goal came. They just dunked the dunk his team. Hey, Epidex is here. Hello, Broski. How are you? Must be it must be good for you. I mean, it's been a long time since you had to sit through quals, so you just you just chilling on the Sunday afternoon watching other people struggle to make main event. <laughs> if there's an organization, all right, Vendetta. No, oh, Vendetta are bossing this game proper. Jamal, if there is an organization that subs... I don't know about the top 18 teams, but maybe at least the top 8, maybe top 12, going to make sure everyone's got an inverter with batteries. They would be absolute heroes, and they could be absolute heroes for about... What would it cost them? They'd get it at cost. They could, they could all do it for about 400k. Oof, that was a good one. Still in front. Nice clear net open on the other side. Joshua screaming back, but Zyro's going to get there first. Does he get the pass? Yo, they're struggling in this game proper. Can't get it out. 
But this is good. This is going to go to game five. Hmm, this is one of the most irritating situations to be in. Um, if your defending team just one touch the whole time and then the other team does something like you can't control. Mm. That's where like the pressure just eventually becomes insurmountable because you don't have time to collect boost. All right, so we're game game five looking pretty pretty definite here. Yeah, I don't think they score three in one minute. I mean, it would have to be a throw. A vendetta would literally have to throw. I go park in the net or something. <laughs> All right, that was that was a shot redemption. So uh, it's it's cooks. Uh, I wish you were with me, Zebra. You could share in this pain. I'm drinking Cook's Sister Liqueur. Ah, <laughs> uh, I had enough yesterday. Thank you. Long Island Oscars. <laughs> Still recovering. Go. <Gore. laughs> well, welcome, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Thanks. Ah, uh, Cook's I Sister have to Liqueur. Say but I have to say, as I've gone through the bottle, as as shots have been redeemed on stream, it's gotten it's gotten nicer and nicer. Oh, Nick Bester, I missed you. Hello, sir. Hold on a second. It's Gore's birthday. I missed that. Well, Gore, go and have a party. Party time for Gore. Happy birthday. That animation actually just threw me off so much. I thought the car exploded. It literally looked like his car exploded. I was like, what the hell? Exploded New into demo balloons. animation. <laughs> I still don't know why they don't have um, custom demo animations, by the way. You know, like the an original Batmobile that they built? Yeah. That had demo animations. It has its own uh, demo animation. So I don't know why they don't have that. As a cosmetic. Oh, you're right. It did, actually. And... I think the art, well, who, who re redeemed the Rick roll? Oh, it was Fig, Fig Flocky. Thank you for that. Thanks for Rick rolling. Um, I, I read an argument once is that different demo explosions might might create, because already you, you, you can lose the ball in the smoke. Um, <laughs> yes, this, this, okay, there we go. Resolution's improving. Like if there's, if there's bigger demos, it's like it might have an advantage over. If your if your demos like a explosion is bigger than than somebody else's, then everybody would just oh. use like the big one or I don't know. I mean, the same argument can be used for boost or whatever. You got more vision on certain yeah, boosts. That's your true. Car, I mean, it's I think it's a pretty uh, moot point. Like, there's no. Yeah. Who cares? Pretty much. I mean, demos <laughs> don't even work. So, <laughs> we'll fix the demos and then. You get, like you know what I mean? There's way bigger problems than that. Ooh, ice must be pretty close to a forfeit. I do believe Batmobile is the only one. Uh, possibly the Back to the Future. Those um, DLC cars. Go. Oh, the Back to the Future has the the fiery. I know it has the fiery um, uh, tire tracks. Like your tire tracks turn to fire. Like like you're going back in time and did you see when it jumps when it flies its wheels turn in oh that like is it, yes it's its wheels actually go uh horizontal <laughs> for me the the back to the future car was remains to this day the best the best dlc car of, of them all without a doubt i'm one of those people that how's it astronic with hitbox, hitbox changes so i'll just stick with one car yeah all right. Well, we got two streams with the Vendetta game and no other streams. This is this is a bit sad. Is um, I think I, those guys forfeit. Seems so. I think they have yeah. to forfeit. I think they have to forfeit this game. Or game game one was. Oh. I think they're done. Oh no! They I think it's done. GGs. Oh no! All right. So if we go back to. So that means, well, they were 2 nil up anyway. So, okay. Oh, so maybe that's why the series, anyway. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so they, they're going to win there. Fusion win. Omnius Gaming are 2-1 up over Monarch Realm. Unity Sheffield Utes is unreported. 